piece development rationales tucking through the center and okay let's capture looks like it's keeping it simple taking too long not keeping it simple let's capture oh, getting a bit arty let's just go with the queen let's bring the bishop out ready for castling potentially and she's got two on there we've got two on let's castle Castled and do, 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 do. I'm going to attack the bishop. Just looking to get free on this one, you see. But we got the rook as well. Yeah, it's not playing them apples, so we can develop the knight. Slightest of touches, baby moves, if you like. But hey, it's something. Let's attack the queen. Obviously, sitting here is looking to try and trouble this. Oh, it's not gone there. Interesting. Okay, so now next thing is let's see if, we, if the small pawn is going to do anything. Interesting. Let's grab. It's got got my pawn here. Nothing behind that bishop is there, and it's got my other pawn as well. Ay, ay, ay. Nice bit of combination work going on there. Yes, I've got this pawn and that pawn. Whoa, Ooh, it's like magic, isn't it? Then this other pawn just drops down. Oh, fantastic. It's like a little magical gift he's got. Interesting times. Let's take... Let's just double up on this pawn. Move it dead quick, go on. Nope. Okay, let's take... Uh, I'm surprised it did that actually. I thought it, the rook would have come across. Sorry. I thought the rook was coming across. It's still plus one. And that's an interesting take on it. Yeah, it's very huffy play, very huffy. So obviously we're looking for a back rank. Um, we're not getting the back rank now. Oh, nice player. Very aggressive, huffy player this player was. Cracking. Let's have a look at that. Man, good attacks. Targeting was strong. Hmm. Yeah, we must have been losing some way through because it was like two pawns up or was it even three pawns let's just have a look at this i oh, just want to see how badly didn't feel i was playing bad i wasn't panicked it was more a case of damn he is actually getting these pieces off the ball but they looked like they were kind of single attacks and the pieces weren't genuinely working together so that's why I think I wasn't too much of a flab but crikey he did look devastating okay let's just bring the knight out then we attack the queen doesn't like us attacking the queen knight d5 attacking his knight mm. That was what was causing us all the trouble in the first place. Interesting. Okay, so we attack the queen. Queen's running. <sighs> Doesn't like that queen exchange. In all the videos that I've done recently, especially I've says it, the computer always frowns on when we go for queen exchanges. It never likes it. And then when it does the queen exchanges in the evaluation, I go, I would not exchange it there. That's a funky way of exchanging. 
So we're never quite meeting at this moment in time, uh, the evaluations. Okay, so they take, we take. So it's showing they're winning here. And I think it was at this point where we said they had some sort of magical thing or something like that. So then we captured and then they captured. So like, again, this is like single sort of maneuvers, but it was gaining the material. So we pushed up and then we attacked and then they took and then we captured. And again, still sort of single, singular maneuvers. And we're attacking their pawn. At this point here, I did think they probably the rook coming here or something would be better. In fact, it is suggesting rook b8 because then it's helping support the pawn. So then this pawn came down, we could capture, then I thought again, it's going to come here with the rook b8, which it is saying there. And they didn't, so then that gave us a little bit of hope <laughs> in terms of being able to put pressure on their pawns and trying to work our way through the gap, capturing the pawn, so it's like drawish now. So we'll make a space coming through to the back, and at this point it's really going to be almost all over, but it would have taken a lot longer.